Last year, I was invited to the Seed Expo in California, and I just bought a bunch of seeds out there because, of course, you know, I love to garden. And this year, I planted them all, and I just have to show you how good they're doing. I made my um, container garden out of an old water trough. I poked holes in it with my um, big crowbar started just using it as a compost and look how happy everything is and it's so funny i had to put the wire on here because sure enough those nosy chickens will get in this and then i also bought some pumpkin seeds lemon squash cantaloupe and so i planted these and you can see they're doing really well and starting to produce down here you know they start down at the bottom I bought some sunflower seeds. I want to say how interesting this is where this one's just one big stalk, one flower on top, and it's coming, you can see. <laughs> and this one is a one stalk, but it has many, many flowers coming on it. This one on the top, if you come around, you can see it's starting to open. And of course, Becky Sunshine loves sunflowers. Here's my lemon tree. My lemon tree got blooms on it this spring. Unfortunately, a frost came and even though it was covered, I covered it, they all died and I was so bummed out because last year the same thing happened and it didn't, I didn't get any lemons. So this year I'm like, boo hoo, the same thing's gonna happen again. But I fertilized it good with some citrus and you can see right here, there's only one, but another bloom came. And then over here, I saw another one the other day. There's a couple of them. Oh, right here's another one, right here, another one. And on this side over here, there's a whole big cluster, which makes me over the moon happy. Right here, come around. Look at the big cluster. So it ends up being like a cluster of lemons growing. So there's a cluster, up here's a cluster. So I'm so, so, so happy. I'm gonna get a couple lemons this year. All right, over here is cantaloupe and some different kinds. See that potato bug right there? I'm gonna show you what you do to that. You just doink it. That's how you gotta kill it. You don't wanna see those in your garden. So these are potatoes right here. This is a bunch of potatoes growing. They're kind of shading out the, I almost wanna tie that back so the squash can get. There's another bug, I doink bugs. And then these are all doing so good and just so beautiful. I'm so happy about it. Ta-da! And my containers, which just goes to show you, you can grow great stuff in a container garden. So don't be afraid to do a container garden. This year I'm doing another potato tower. I've done them in the past and then I didn't do them for a while, but I'm like, oh, I wanna do another potato tower. And what I'm using in here is just hay from my horses, just scrappy hay that I don't feed that just ends up on the ground. I've just been piling in here and it's just been collecting and you know, it kind of settles and kind of turns to compost. So there's potatoes in here I planted not long ago, so they're not sprouting yet but I'm waiting and then I'll just keep, here's another pile of hay right here. I'll just keep putting that in there. Also I wanna show is my little fig tree, which I transplanted it and I thought it was gonna die and I was so mad at myself. I'm like, ugh, I think I killed it. But it sprouted back up right here. So there's my little fig tree because if you ever eat figs off a tree, fresh figs, they are so good. So delicious. What I've learned about fig trees is if you plant them on the edge of your property, the squirrels will eat all your figs and you won't get any. So you have to try to plant your fig trees in your garden where your dog is hanging around, your farm dog, so you know nothing creeps in here to eat it. No deer, squirrels, you know, that dogs are... I like to have the garden kind of in zone one here. I do like that. I wanna talk about all these flowers I have behind me. I love to have my flowers on this side of the garden. I have this lovely purple wisteria, which smells heavenly. And I don't know, you can't see, there's a big bee right there. Do you see it on that one right here? So you want to have flowers near your garden to encourage the bees because we love the bees. Some people keep a hive, but if you don't keep a hive, you can just have you know flowers around that'll attract the bees. Also look in here. It is just stunningly gorgeous. My jasmine is in bloom. 
And so when you walk through this little tunnel, it smells absolutely heavenly. It's just like a little, little cave of paradise fragrance in here. I just love this thing. I added this little extra panel and I have had to kind of guide it, you know, over the top and down the way. You do have to help it a little bit, but once it gets going, it is so worth it and just so, such a beautiful feature for anybody's yard. It doesn't take much, and this is all from one plant right over there, just one plant. That's why I'm not that good of a gardener because I'm actually learning all this stuff as I go because there's so much to learn to be a good gardener. Click the like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.